My name is Dr. Robert Schmidt and I'm a facial plastic surgeon. Let's talk about rhinoplasty. People come to me to talk about their noses for a couple of different reasons. Most of the time when people come to talk to me about their nose, they just want it to look better. They may feel that it's too large for their face, they may have a big hump on their nose that they dislike, or maybe they just want their tip a little bit better. A lot of people also come to me to talk about breathing issues. Uh, frequently these people have had an injury of some kind. Uh, rarely they, their nose just grew that way. Uh, but also I see a lot of people who have had surgery before, for either for aesthetic reasons or for breathing reasons, and it didn't take. And so they come to me for, to talk about a revision. Rhinoplasty surgery can be very complex. It can also be very simple. Uh, and it just depends on what you need. There is no, no such thing as a cookie cutter rhinoplasty. And when we sit down and begin our journey together, we will talk about your goals. Uh, we'll sort of see what would be possible. Um, you know, we'll do a good exam of both the outside of your nose and the inside of your nose. Uh, if you've had surgery before, we'll try to figure out what was done. And if you can bring copies of the notes from what was done before, that can be very helpful for trying to figure out what you need. And our goal is always Im improvement. Uh, we, can, we can almost always improve a nose, particularly if you have breathing trouble or if you've had an injury. Uh, but um, in, in some cases, for cosmetic reasons, uh, we may not be able to achieve what you want, and I'll tell you that. Rhinoplasty can be done either through incisions all inside your nose or through incisions on the outside of your nose, including one across the base here. Um, for me, I do most of my procedures in an open way, meaning you have the incision across the base. Uh, but it all just depends on what you need. For, in my hands, certain things can be done all through incisions inside the nose, uh, and then there are certain things that can only be done through the external incisions. The healing process from a rhinoplasty can vary greatly depending on the amount of work and the complexity of the work. If you're having a revision procedure, your healing will be longer than if we're doing your nose for the first time. My goal is always to do the last surgery on someone's nose. Depending on the amount of work done, you can expect to be puffy on your nose. Uh, you will have a cast and, uh, uh, and some tape on the outside of your nose, regardless of how we do it. Um, something that people are commonly uh, worried about is getting black eyes and, and puffiness around their eyes. Um, fortunately, most of my patients don't end up with that. Just there are, there are tricks that, that I know that help to prevent it. Of course, I can never guarantee no black eyes, but just most of my patients, they, they do very well in that department. Um, more importantly, we want to end up with a natural result that will last the rest of your life. Uh, I'm told that um, by, by many of my patients that after they've had their surgery done, people will come up to them and they'll say, something's different about you, but I can't put my finger on it. And frankly, that's what you want out of any kind of facial surgery. You want it to look like uh, it, was, it was the nose that you were always meant to have. And that's, that's my goal whenever I'm doing a rhinoplasty for someone. I'm Dr. Robert Schmidt, and I'm board certified in facial plastic surgery, and I can't wait to start a relationship together.